Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to add and subtract decimals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here four different examples on how to add decimals and subtract decimals. So you're free to answer these questions before I start discussing it. You can press the pause button or you can play it along while I'm discussing this video. So let's get started. So the, the direction here for us to add or subtract decimals is to line up the decimal first, then add and subtract. So we have here number one, we have 5.34 plus 4.11. For you to easily add the decimals, you need to add them vertically. So here's the alignment. And you will align the decimal points. So we have 5.34 plus 4.11. You need to align the two decimal places given in 5.34 and 4.11. So you have here 4.11 and then add them vertically. So we have here 4 plus 1 which is 5. 3 plus 1 that gives you 4 and then copy the placement of the decimal place or the decimal point. And then lastly 5 plus 4, that will give you 9. Therefore, the sum of 5.34 plus 4.11 is simply 9.45. I hope you learned something from the first example above. And again, you're free to pause the video and try item number 2. So let's get going about in answering number 2. We have 28.2 plus 6.13. Again, we have 28.2 plus 6.13. We need to align them vertically. We have 28.2 plus 6.13. As you can see, I aligned their decimal places or their decimal points. So we can align them and then add them vertically. As you can see, wala siya kasama rito. So we can put here a placeholder zero. Again, you can put zero here if the given are decimals, but in the whole number, hindi mo pwedeng gawin yun. Okay? So to add this, you have zero plus three, this, that will give you three. And then two plus one, that will give you 3, then copy the decimal point. So add 8 plus 6, that is 14. So you would put here 4 and then carry 1. Then simply add 2 and 1. That's why you will have here 3. The sum of 28.2 plus 6.13 is 34.33. I hope you learned something from the first two examples wherein we discussed how to add decimals. Now let's move on with the next examples. We are given 34.6 minus 8.65. So what you need to do is to align them vertically so that we can subtract them. So what will happen here is this. You need to copy 34.6. And then we have 8.65, where we need to align these decimal points. We have 8.65. So since we have a space here, we need to put a placeholder 0, where we can subtract the numbers. We have 0 minus 5. We need to borrow 1 from 6. So this will become 10, and this is 5. So we have 10 minus 5, 
that is 5. Let's move on to the next place. We have 5 minus 6 cannot be, so we need to borrow 1 again here, so it will become 15, and this will become 3. So we have 15 minus 6. This will give you the answer of 9. And copy the decimal place, or the decimal point, and as you can see, 3 minus 8 cannot be, so we need to borrow 1 here, it will become 2, and then this will become 13. So this is 13 minus 8, this will give you 5, and bring down 2, and as you can see, the difference between 34.6 and 8.65 is none other than 25.95. Now, let's move on with item number 4. We are given only a whole number minus 7.7. .7. So what will happen is you will copy the whole number, which is 24, and then you have to subtract it by 7.7. .7. But the question here, sir, uh, how are we going to align the decimal points? Guys, we have here a decimal point and then you can put 0 here. Okay, so you can align 7.7. .7. Now, subtracting these decimals, 0 minus 7 is cannot be, so we need to borrow 1 to make it 10. This will become 3. And then 10 minus 7 is 3. Okay, and then this one, 3 minus 7 cannot be, so you need to carry 1. I need to borrow 1 from 2, it will become 1. So you have 13. Minus 7, that is 6. Then bring down 1. And then copy the decimal point. So as you can see, the difference between 24 and 7.7 .7 is none other than 16.3. I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to add and subtract decimals. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at you hit the notification bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!